Hello everyone and welcome back on the TSG and I'm bringing you a brand new Portsmouth episode today and I'm excited to bring this one to you. Uh, let's have a look what happened since I last left you. Um, I believe we had the Southampton and Middlesbrough game. Um, so since then we've got a couple of decent results, a lot of draws you can see there but let's start off. 1-0 down until the 91st minute, Shane Long scores off of the bench. Um, great little goal gets us back in the game gets us a point and then we go to West Brom who are not a bad side at all for the championship and Shane Long and Marcus Harness getting the goals there it was all done by half time if you look at that nothing happened really in the second half but Shane Long again two goals in um, two games for him and then we went to Bristol City took a point there fair enough I guess we'll take a point Brentford after that we took a point again Shane Long scoring again so that's three goals in four games for him I was starting Dennis a lot because obviously I thought he was going to be the better striker but so far he's not been able to score much to be honest and Shane Long's taken his chances again 1-0 up and this time it was turned around on us in the 90th minute they equalised I thought we were getting three points here and it would have been a massive three points if we did um, but it wasn't to be and then we went to Reading away 2-0 loss, not ideal at all. And then Sunderland away, went 1-0 up. Harry Wilson is back, actually. I forgot to mention that. He came back for this Sunderland game. This was his first start for the club, and he did score a penalty. We went 1-0 up, and then they scored two more, um, and obviously turned that fixture around. Then we went to Sheffield Wednesday. Harry Wilson missed a penalty in this game, so we could have won 1-0 if he took his chance, but he didn't. We end up getting a 0-0 draw. And then I'm going to bring you Blackpool and QPR in this episode. If we look at the league... We are struggling a little bit, but with, we've only got one win in the league, but we've got six draws, um, and we are two points um, behind Blackpool, who are 21st, so um, I mean, we've got them next game. If we can beat them, hopefully we can leapfrog out of that bottom three. Um, it'll be a big game. Is it home or away, actually? It is home as well, so we've got the home advantage. We should really be giving them a good game and hopefully taking the three points so I'm going to come back on the team selection page for that game here we go so we've arrived on the team selection page and unfortunately although I really like Dennis and I really wanted to get him playing as much as possible he's just he's just not scoring goals so Shane Long's going to have to start um, in that pressing forward attacking position um, Harry Wilson back from injury obviously our best player by far um, on loan from Liverpool will be starting on the right hand side Sergio will be starting on the left as a winger um, Gareth Evans down the middle actually we could play Dennis in that role we could get him as a shadow striker yes yeah, so we'll play Dennis in behind Shane Long I think that will work or we'll at least give it a try and then we've got um, we will have James Garner and Tom Naylor in the two central midfielders um, spots and then we'll keep the defence as it is and we'll get straight into this game against Blackpool come on Portsmouth oh no we've got to quickly swap Marcus Harness off um, we'll put John Marquise on there there we go come on in Portsmouth a big three points against Blackpool down there with us at the moment it'll be a massive result if we can take something from this game Adina picking up a early yellow card not a lot happening go on Wilson good ball into the box what more Burgess oh he heads it over the bar we go again Sergio oh ref that looked nasty yeah a red card Come on, they're down to 10 men. I'm going to go positive. We're going to try and get a few more chances. I'm going to get them to be... We'll see what this highlight is first. Dennis. Where's he going with this? He's still got it. Lays it into Long. And Shane Long scores again. His fourth goal of the season. It was the right decision to start him up top. Although Dennis done very well to supply him with the assist there I'll take that we'll stay positive we'll try to get a two goal lead here we go then Hornstrup Naylor crosses Shane Long again that's his second of the game he's loving life at Portsmouth he's glad he's left our rivals I think 
He's getting the goals. Look at this. Great ball in from Tom Naylor actually here. Look at that. Shane Long's in loads of space. It's all going to plan so far. Naylor again. Garner. Oh, he's lost it. Oh, no. Kalkai shoots. Oh, and Bass makes the save. Bass has actually got better this season. His rating's already starting to go up. So he could really improve. I think he's got quite a bit of potential. Let's have a look. Yeah, he can He can get quite a bit better still. So I'm going to keep... I'm glad I stuck with him instead of getting someone else in. It was Alan Hutton, who I actually had a look at signing at the beginning of the season. I didn't even realise that at the time. I did have a look at signing him because obviously he's been around uh, the Championship and Premier League for years. I looked at bringing him in on the right back, but I got Medina instead. Um, but yeah, he's getting sent off against us. Same again in the second half, really. One more goal and I think it's tied on. Well, it's probably over now, but you can never be sure on this game. I'm going to rest some players. I'll bring Harry Wilson off for Thierry Nevers. I'll do for now. I don't really want Medina getting sent off. We'll make another sub. I'm going to bring John Marquise. He hasn't really played at all this season. Um, on for Sergio and then put him up front. As a poacher... And then what we'll do is bring Ben Close on for the last 15 minutes. <clears throat> that should see us out. Going to praise the performance. They played well. There we have it. There the full time and it is a 2-0 win sorry I was just looking at um, all these bookings they got I didn't realise they had so many bookings across the game but yeah a 2-0 win I'll take that that's perfect really obviously the red card did not help them at all but oh we're clear of the drop apparently I'm going to praise Shane Long on that performance because he was superb in front of goal and then if we have a look at the table we have moved out the drop zone only by a point but that's promising. If we can get a win in our next game, we could potentially move up to 17th and put some daylight between us and the relegation spots. Let's see who we've actually got. We've got um, QPR, who are currently 9th, so they're doing pretty well. I'll come back on the team selection page for that. Okay, there's a bit of a problem here. Obviously, our main goalkeeper's just been injured for two weeks which means he will probably miss two or three games at a minimum, which is a bit annoying. Um, let's see who we actually have. We only have one other keeper, which is Luke McGee, which, to be fair to him, is good enough to play um, championship. So hopefully he'll be able to do a decent job. We're just going to have to risk it um, and hope that he doesn't get injured in that time as well. And hopefully Bass will be back before we know it. Seven days and two weeks. Okay, so maybe it won't be too bad. Um, oh, there's an international break actually. So he'll only miss two games maximum, which isn't the end of the world. But hopefully we can still get a result against QPR. Right, we're just selecting the team I want to start um, in this game against... Um, who is it? QPR. I think I'm going to start running Curtis because he can still improve quite a bit. He's not the best rating at the moment, but I'm going to give him a game on the left-hand side as an inside forward attacker. Um, I'm going to start... Um, probably going to keep Dennis there because he done quite well last game. Keep Shane Long up top, obviously. Uh, and other than that, we're going to go straight into the game. Obviously, Luke McGee's making his first game of the season in goal. Come on in, Portsmouth. Another three points here would be absolutely massive. We're at home again. Ashley Young playing for Blackburn there on the left-hand side there. 2 nil up in nine minutes. Not a lot happening in this game, though. I'm going to say get creative. Hopefully get a few chances. Hornstrup on a yellow. That's his third of the season. We're only about 
I don't know. I think we are quite away now, maybe. Curtis on the corner. Oh, what more? Back to Curtis. Put a good ball in. Oh, no. He's lost it. And he's still there. Oh. How close. Someone just needed to get a touch on that. Highlight's still going, though. Don't lose at the back there. Great ball. Here's Harry Wilson. Into Shane Long. Oh, what a save by Kelly in goal. Oof. And Long again heads it over. Long is looking very dangerous. I'm glad we signed him. Highlight still going. Oh, it's so easy. He's ran down the wing. Great tackle. Go forward, Gorm. Oh, that was a bit of a waste. Make a tackle. Oh, he's in. Great save by Luke McGee. Stepped in for Bass for this game. Doing well so far. That was a free header. Alright, second half underway. Need a few more highlights for us. We've had 11 shots. Just going to get him to show some passion. Just fight. Oh, that was not a good idea. It's made a few of them angry. Oh, straight into McGee's hands. I like still going. Go on, Wilson. Shane Long. And he scores. That's three goals in two games for him. Six in the season. He's clinical at the moment. Hopefully he carries this on throughout the season. He's probably not far off the top goal scorer at the moment. And look at Harry Wilson with his pass here. Slots him in. And he doesn't miss that. Great goal. Another highlight. Naylor to Garner. Oh, don't lose it. Keep it. Hornstrap. Burgess to Garner. Go on. Great ball out wide. Medina. The other new signing. Into Curtis. And I said I was going to give him a game today over Sergio. And he's delivered. At the back stick. Scored with a header. Well done, Curtis. There's a great ball by Medina actually as well to find him. Come on, 2-0 up. This is a great episode if we can keep this form going over the season. Look at Luke McGee on a 7 rate and having a great game too. I'm going to see what this highlight is and then I might just move to a bit cautious so we don't be sending too many people forward when we don't need to. Oh no, Aneke. Oh, he scored. I had a feeling that was going to happen. How long we got? 23 minutes. I think we are just going to go a bit more cautious. They've got a free kick again here. Burgess clears it. Wilson. Dennis. There's a, can't ch there's a chance for a counter-attack. I got it out at the end. Go on long. Finds Wilson. Keep going. Shoots. And he scores. Harry Wilson from the edge of the box. Tight angle. No problem for him. He scores. 3-1 up. We're staying cautious. We get the three points surely now. I'm going to praise them because they've been playing very well. Best two games of the season in this episode, I'd say. As long as we can obviously see this out. <laughs> Eze gets it back. Aneke, just don't let him score. Great block. Colback and McGee with the save. Nicely done. I haven't even made a sub yet. I've just been so focused on sticking to what I've got I'm going to make a few subs now just to obviously waste a bit of time but also um, rest a couple of people for the last 20 odd minutes I will make one more sub in the last couple of minutes <clears throat> highlight still going go on Curtis He's played very well this game. And he's laid off Wilson, who's hit the post. Oh, my word. Another highlight. Nevers. The youngster into Naylor. 
Oh, that's not a great pass. And they will counter-attack. There's a lot of them coming here. Darcy. Hits it. And McGee with the save again. Wow. McGee's had an absolute blinder. On a 7 rating there. Uh, let's see who I can bring on. I'm just going to bring Bailey right on for Medina to waste a bit of time. Come on, get stuck in. If they score now, then there's still a little bit of time for them to get a third. So, Oof. Again, what a chance for the striker there. Should have buried it. They must be going all out attack. I think I might go defensive because... Again, highlight after highlight. Oh, Shane Long stolen it. Oh, no, he hasn't. Oh, no, he's coming inside. Great challenge. Eze. Oh, straight into McGee's hand again. They can't seem to get it past McGee this game. Four minutes to go. Come on. Blow the whistle. 3 1 victory. Six points from the two games in this episode. I'm very happy with that. We've now registered three wins, where before this episode we only had one. So I'm so happy with how they played, um, especially against QPR. They're ninth in the league. Obviously, Blackpool just come up. They're down to 10 men, 2 0 win. Done a good job. But then when you go and play QPR, ninth in the league, they're obviously doing something right. They're a decent team, and we've gone out and beat them 3-1. I'm very happy with that. Shane Long, Curtis, and Wilson with the goals. All within 10 minutes, actually. I didn't realise it was that quick. And their goal was within that time as well. So there's just a 10-minute flurry of four goals. But what a game that was, and what a result. Um, quality of possession. gerard has been sacked by Wolves. Interesting. Harry Wilson, I'm going to praise him. He got an assist and a goal. Um, so yeah, I'm going to praise that and we're going to have a look at the table and see where that puts us it's put us into 19th and we're now four points clear of that drop zone which is very very good for the mind we can now relax a little bit not much obviously we don't want to relax at all but we we know that we're out of the drop zone and we can now focus on climbing the league instead of trying to stay out of that bottom three so just for a couple of games obviously if we lose a couple and they win or draw you know they're straight back on our tails but for now we're in a good position with Portsmouth we need to keep going. Let's see what we've got coming up. Um, Cardiff, who are 15th. Blackburn, who are 17th. And then Southampton again. And we've got Leeds, who are 4th. So we've got two relatively winnable games. And then we've got two tough teams there. What I'm probably going to do is play up to the Wigan game. And then bring you the... Actually, no, we just played QPR, didn't we? Um, I might play up to the Birmingham game. And then try bring you the Wigan and Sheffield Wednesday games. We're going to second, so that would be a difficult game. And a Sheffield Wednesday at bottom. So we'll have a, a very difficult game. And then what should be a more comfortable game in the next episode. Um, remember, if you do enjoy the series, please, please, please do leave it a like. Please do subscribe to my channel. I've been a TSG. Goodbye.